And I'm very happy now that we can start with Frank Vogel. You know Frank Vogel, Vogel, to be precise. You have met him yesterday. Who has not met him? Frank Vogel. Okay, come back to with me. And maybe you can't see. Maybe you can't see it, but he's burning for the SDGs. Can you see it? Not yet, but in a second. And this is a serious question. Why do you really put your total life into the context of water safety, uh, health, water health, and the environment, the SDGs? Why do you do that? Actually, because I'm an engineer in agronomy, and I learned a lot during my studies. And I'm also a son of a farmer, so I know exactly how it's working. The value of water, the pollution, all this, so I, I know about that. And um, actually, I will talk to you a bit later on the Bishnoi, the first ecologists. And actually, this community integrated most of those goals we call today, like created by the UN in, the, in, in 2015, but they created their own ones in 1485. That's over 500 years ago. And uh, it's something very important, and especially water, because water, if you look at the amount of water in the universe, it's very little. Why? Why? There is less water in the universe than gold. And it's true. You ask any astrophysician, it's going to tell you this. And uh, our body is made of 71% of water, of fresh water. And on Earth, you have most of the water is salty. It's less than 1% of fresh water. So that's why it's so important to protect it. We have enough, but we just have to protect mm -hmm. it. And one last question from me. What does it add to your life, solely, emotionally, to put your business life into the context of the SDGs and water? What does it provide you with, as a human being, as a soul? It provides me kind of joy, because Earth, to protect Earth, actually it's not to protect the Earth. It's to protect you, the life of human beings and other lives. If you destroy it, Earth will still continue to, to turn around the sun. That's not a problem. But for humans, if you have all the water polluted, and not only water or other things, but you cannot live anymore. So it's just a matter of surviving, nothing else. And so that's why it's so important. And that's my mission is kind of inspire people, especially the young generation. And uh, there is a foundation called Iris in France who is uh, supporting my talks. And uh, I really thank them again, because it's very important to share with future leaders. You are future leaders. And that's important that I put a seed in your brain today. You will now. Frank Fogel, enjoy traveling back in time. <laughs>